Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm gonna test a 3D pen with you. So this is from Victor Star. I got it online, I think it was Amazon. So you should be able to find it if you search for 3D Victor Star and yeah, you can see what the box looks like. So anyway, here we have pretty much all the parts. So it really looks cool. It should be really easy to use. Um, I'm really excited to try it out, I haven't tried it before. So here we have the four colors. This one is blue and um, yeah, what else? Yeah, here on the back side we have some patterns that we could do. So per pen you get 10 meters of plastic. I'll open it up and check it out. Okay, so we have, oh, so three meters long in different colors. So purple, white, orange, or reddish, I'm not sure. So really pretty colors. I'm really excited to try them out. Oh, so here we have the instructions, draw your dreams says on here in many different languages. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Here the power plug. And finally, the pen itself. So it's pretty light, easy to hold. And also we have another small part. That would be this one here. So we have a small screwdriver, but I'll read the instructions first to see what it's for. Yeah, so all in all, this is pretty cool. I'm really excited. So yeah, let's check that out and I'll be back. So I read it a bit, the screwdriver is a tool to regulate the heat, so that would be over here, under this rubber part we have the heat regulator, then the speed button, how fast the stuff comes out. So yeah, that's a really cool feature, I'm not completely sure how it's supposed to work, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so it looks kind of like a hot glue gun, but the thickness is not like with a hot glue gun. It's a bit thinner, I would say. So yeah, let's start. Here we have a yellow light, so that's the power light. It's plugged in. It's warming already, so we can keep going with the steps. It's supposed to be green when it's heated, so let's see how we put the wire in. So when I press over here, the second light goes off, the red one, and after about 30 seconds it's supposed to turn green and then we can start. So from the back to the front green light, let's go. There's a beeping sound. Um, it's not tight in there, so let's try pushing it in a bit. Okay, yeah, this works. So when I press the button, yeah, we have a bit over here, just a teeny tiny bit of pink. So I think we should wait a bit. Also, the instructions say that we shouldn't really touch this area because we don't want to burn ourselves. So that's the heated part. So yeah, keep your fingers off that area. Also, I took some wax paper, but we'll see how it works with that.
Oh wow, I really need to take care of my speed. It hardened immediately. So I think I got it. I need to press the forward button here and then the speed. I'm gonna regulate, regulate on the other side. So when I speed it up, it's easier to work with. Okay, this was kind of a fail, so it hardens really, really too quick. I can't pull it upwards. So I practiced a bit and it's a bit difficult at first. Yeah, it really does take a while to get used to it. Here is something like a square, so let's try to do the 3D. Yeah, so it just piled up. Hold it and pull. The one fell off, so we'll try that one again. Yeah, I'll try that again. So I'm just whirling pretty much. I think the speed matters a lot actually. Maybe I've been working too fast. So here we are, I'll try to connect them. I was aiming for dice, but it's really not as good. Maybe it could be a small house. Let's try and do the roof. Huh. 
<laughs> well, yeah, it could probably pass as a house. I'll try to finish it and practice using the pen a bit more. So connecting is a bit easier. So here's my mini house with the 3D pen, my first result. Well, um, my first try actually looks like this. So I thought it would be a bit easier to work at a lower speed and in 3D. The basis was easier than the 3D parts later. So yeah, the connecting is the easiest, but I bet I just need to practice a bit more. So this is a really cool way um, to make different objects and yeah, it does take a bit of getting used to, but I think it's worth it at the end. So let me guys know if, um, what do you think about it and if you like it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to keep using this. So yeah, we'll definitely use it more often um, in practice. It's an awesome gift idea as well when I think about it. So for the first time I used this purple pinkish um, color. But yeah, we'll try the other colors too, definitely. I'm really excited. So yeah, I believe I used about a half of this uh, half for this little house and the try for it, of course. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys like it. Um, feel free to post any feedback in the comment section and shoot a thumbs up. Um, maybe even if you have any tips and tricks, that would be awesome. So yeah, feel free to post anything below. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I hope to see you again on our channel. And yeah, I hope you had a good time with me. Have a great day. Bye.